Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we told you that the uh, attention was so high uh, regarding these uh, gun control bills that the meeting of the Pittsburgh City Council had to be moved from the council chambers uh, to the larger lobby of the uh, uh, Pittsburgh City Hall. There were some complaints about that, by the way. There were, there were folks that thought that uh, this might be the city council trying to restrict the number of individuals who could uh, speak. Didn't seem to stop the turnout, however. I mean, this was a packed place, and there were very um, passionate speakers, shall we say, on both sides of this question. Take a listen. Every single day they hear of another shooting. They are regularly and consistently under threat and locked down. Wherever they go, they look for exits and an escape. They know in their bones they are not safe. If you force me to leave my city, you will pay for my move. Every bit of it. You'll buy my house, you'll buy my car, and you'll pay for the expenses it costs for me to move. One study states three out of five criminals report being or knowing of someone that was scared off by a good guy with a gun. No shots even fired. Whose side are you on? I think passing these are one of the most constitutional and American things that you can do by putting well-regulated back into the Second Amendment. Now, the uh, mayor there in Pittsburgh, uh, Bill Peduto, he was actually not... He was not in attendance last night, despite, you know, having grandstanded all week long uh, about this issue. He was in Washington, D.C. Uh, for that uh, national conference of mayors hanging out with his other anti-gun chums uh, across the country, including there's the uh, the mayor. We'll say bad taste in gun laws. Good beard, though. Uh, but there you have the uh, mayor of Cincinnati, former mayor uh, of New York, Blanco Bloomberg, was also speaking there. Uh, no vote taken by the city council in Pittsburgh last night. And it is. It was made abundantly clear to the city council that there are plenty of residents uh, in Pittsburgh who are willing and ready to file out a complaint against those city council members for violating their constitutional rights, for uh, abrogating the responsibility under Pennsylvania law and in passing ordinances where they do not have a, a, a responsibility or even the authority under Pennsylvania law to act. Will that be enough to stop these gun control bills with gun control groups, uh, you know, asking or, or, or saying that they'll be uh, uh, more than willing to kick in and cover legal costs that the uh, city might face? I don't know. But uh, again, it was great to see so many Second Amendment advocates, so many NRA members uh, there in attendance in Pittsburgh last night. It's one of the things that we do. We show up, whether it's at the polls, at city council meetings, at school board meetings, when there are threats to our right to keep and bear arms, NRA members, we respond, don't we?